So pulling all of that information together then for our first example. So sample of 100 households, the expected number of dogs is as follows. Okay, so there's our expected frequencies. Select an appropriate chi-square distribution uh, for this question. So we need to combine any cells where the frequencies are uh, expected frequencies are less than five. Hence, it's these three last cells that need to be combined. So if we look at uh, the next table, what we've done is we've categorized the last three. We've combined those and said, called that anything greater than three, greater than, um, yeah, greater than three. Um, and we've combined the frequency to give us an eight value there because that's bigger than five. Okay. And it's now once you've combined the frequencies that you consider the degrees of freedom. So the degrees of freedom, number of cells, one, two, three, four, five. Take away the number of constraints. Okay. So that last column is fixed by the fact that the total has to be equal to 100. So therefore, there is one constraint, and therefore our degrees of freedom for this problem is four, and therefore we would compare our goodness of fit with the chi-squared four distribution is the correct distribution to use. As with all of the hypotheses, tests, and distributions that we've met in stats, um, they can be done on the calculator, and these critical values can be picked off the calculator. But just so you're aware, you do have um, the crucial values that correspond to each degree of freedom uh, and each significant level in tables in your formula booklet, and you can uh, pick off values uh, from these tables if it's quicker and more convenient for you to do so. And use your calculator. So considering the critical values then for a chi-square distribution, as I say, these can be pulled off from the table. Um, but if we just look at what it means in terms of a diagram. So here we have the chi-squared uh, five distribution. Okay, so five degrees of freedom gives us this shape for our chi-squared distribution at the 5% significance level. This critical region here must be equal to 0 0.05, and that corresponds to a critical chi-squared value of 11.070. So we could pick this up from the tables. So in our tables, we've got five degrees of freedom, we've got a 5% significance level, and therefore, our critical value is 11.07, okay? Alternatively, you could pick it up from your calculator. So in, uh, if you go into distribution, chi, and then inverse, then um, this will take you to this screen, okay? You put in your area of 0 0.05, your degrees of freedom of five, and it will return your critical value for that chi-square distribution for you. So, um, getting your critical regions either off from the tables uh, or from the calculator. So similarly, you could pick off the 10% significance level from either source or the 2.5% significance level from either source. So you can find those in the tables or from your calculator in a similar way. Bit more practice of that idea in example two then. So for chi-squared three, 95% significance level, again, uh, from the table, you can pick off the value of 0 0.352. Um, if it's chi-squared four, 10%, then again, from the tables, 7.779. Uh, and similarly for part B, it's just sort of phrased in a slightly different way, but it means the same thing. So you can look up from your tables 0 0.95, 0 0.99 for the corresponding value 